All right, so today I'm gonna be doing another KB Fit Critiques Cameron, and the exercise I'm choosing today is a weird one, um, one that you normally see people doing with cables, but I do them weird with a dumbbell and bands, and that's gonna be the drag curl. Um, I was at, I was given advice to probably try to do a little bit more talking about the proper form, and I feel like I have tried to do that, but I don't feel like maybe I've done an adequate job, so in this video I'm gonna do my best to kind of explain the drag curl, the benefits of it, why we do the drag curl, and why um, I do it the way I do it, and see if I actually uh, follow my own advice and do them correctly. Um, now, when you do the drag curl with the curl, your arms, or you have the cables, I'm gonna talk about when using with the cables, and then you'll see how I'm doing with the dumbbells. So usually, like I said, it was with the dumbbells cable machine, the cables are behind you, your arms are extended behind you, but they should be straight, and you're getting that stretch, that pull in your bicep. Now, if you've seen my video where I talk about um, how to get bigger gains, I think that I made this video last week, and I did use the example of bicep curls, where every time you're doing a bicep curl, you wanna make sure you have your arms fully extended at the bottom of the curl, you want that bicep to get stretched out. You don't want to do curls and your arms are con constantly bent, right? You wanna do, have your arms full range of motion, your arms are fully straight at the bottom of the curl. Um, with drag curls, it's even better because uh, your arms are extended behind you and the cables are kind of helping, helping that extension with the pull. Now, um, the way that I do them, like I said, I do them with the dumbbell and the band. Um, and that's just because I just tend to like to do them that way. And I don't really use cable machines that often anymore or at all anymore, to be honest. Um, so I use a dumbbell and I use light bands, not heavy bands. I don't need heavy bands for those these ones. Very light bands, the lightest bands that I do have um, for that one. Now, um, I have watched this video and so on both of these sets, I only do two sets on, on this exercise and I already know what I do wrong. But um, I will let the video play and let you guys see what I do wrong. Now remember, the, the benefit of the drag curl is to have that full extension with your arm behind you like this, that full extension. And, um, and then obviously at the top of the curl, no matter if you're doing a drag curl or any type of curl, you always wanna make sure you have the hold at the top, that squeeze, getting a little bit of the isometric and then controlling the weight back down, right? Um, and so with the bands, what they add to it, instead of the, the cables, is that as you're pulling the band, this is why I like to use bands in general, is as you're pulling the band, the, ba uh, the, re the resistance is getting harder and harder and harder. So at the top of the curl, that's when you have the heaviest weight or the heaviest resistance. Uh, unlike a cable machine, um, you, have the con you have a consistent um, resistance the entire time. But with the bands, like I said, no matter if you're doing curls or rows or chest press, at the peak of each movement, that's when the resistance is the heaviest. And that's where you get the most benefit from the actual bands. And that's why I love to use the bands. So those are the two things that I kind of want you guys to pay attention to in this one is, uh, am I getting that full extension in my arm behind me? And am I benefiting from the band by letting that, uh, by getting that isometric hold and letting the band, um, getting that squeeze at the top, getting that full resistance from the band. All right, um, so those are the things I'm gonna mention. And like I said, I already kind of know who I do. I think I only watched one set, but I'm pretty sure both sets might be the same. So with that being said, I'm going to press play so we can watch this. All right, and action, first set. Oops, no, not really. Okay, now and action. <laughs> All right. So I'm already noticing I am not getting the full extension. Oh, that one was a little bit better. Most of these I'm not getting, oh, it seems to be getting better as I go. But I did pretty, that was a really fast set. So there's a lot of things wrong with that one. My pace was too fast. Um, I didn't benefit too much from the uh, band because as you saw, each rep was going super fast. I didn't do the isometric hold at the top, not even for a second. It was probably like a third of a second. Um, my arm wasn't fully extended for like the first three reps. Um, everything almost, I don't wanna say everything was wrong with that, but it was almost like once again, I wasn't getting the benefits from what I'm doing. Now I will say this though, when I'm doing this exercise in real life, I don't notice it. Like, I feel like I'm doing it correctly. Like it feels right. I don't feel like I'm going so fast. I don't feel like I'm using momentum. I feel like I, I, I am doing my best to go as slow as possible and to keep control over it. And though, and, but then actually, you know, as I go back to watch the footage, I'm like, wow, that is fast. Cause you know, I watch my sets in between sets. Um, and so hopefully the second set is better, but obviously you saw the first set wasn't ideal. Um, 
I will say this as well though, this was my first time doing 40 pounds with this weight because I've been doing 35 pounds up to this point and I was uh, I felt like it was too easy. So I was like, you know what, let me push myself to 40 pounds. So it was the first time I was doing 40 pound curls with the band. But as you saw, maybe I shouldn't have been doing 40 pounds just yet. Maybe I should have done 35 pounds or maybe I should have done less reps with better control. So let's see if the second set has better control. And action. All right, arms are not even starting off straight. See, I'm going a little bit slower now. I'm a little bit slower, still a little too fast. I'm still not getting that full benefit from at the top. Arms are still not getting fully extended. Once again, a really quick set. I think that was like six reps. Um, so there are six fast reps. Once again, better than the first set, I would say. Slower pace. But visually, if I was training myself, I would tell myself to slow down. I would definitely probably give myself lighter weight um, because I'd be like, no, it's, there's no point in going heavier if you're going to have improper form. Um, and sometimes it's ego. For me, it didn't feel like ego. I felt like I could do it. But watching it back now, I'm looking at that like, okay, maybe I need to adjust, make some adjustments for the next time. Um, so I would probably give myself, if I had to grade myself, I would probably give myself a solid C. Um, uh, yeah, a solid C, that's a combination of both sets put together. Um, I don't know what you guys would rate that, but as you saw, I didn't get that full extension. I didn't squeeze at the top long enough. Um, and it's different. So that's always good to, I always try to tell my clients if they can, if you can record yourself, watch it back so you can kind of see where you're uh, messing up, if you are, see how you proper form, everything like that. So anyways, hopefully this was uh, beneficial. So make sure when you're exercising, always have control, both the concentric, the eccentric, isometric, all of it, full range of motion, you'll get the most benefits. Uh, so with that being said, hopefully that was helpful and I'll see you guys in the next video.